and welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Histology with Jamie Chapman. Today we're going to be looking at the junction between the pyloric stomach and the duodenum. So let's get started. So with this uh, low mag overview, we can actually see that the pyloric stomach is here on the left. And if we follow sort of its pathway along, we can see quite a dramatic change in the mucosa. We end up with these finger-like projections, which are the villi. So the junction is really here. Um, we can see also this thickening of this internal uh, circular layer of smooth muscle. This is the pyloric sphincter. You see the normal size of the... in. A circular layer of muscle here. This thickening is the uh, pyloric sphincter which regulates the exit of uh, acidic chyme from the uh, pyloric region of the stomach into the uh, first part of the small intestine which is the duodenum. So if we zoom in and have a look at the structure of the pyloric stomach we can see those classic deep gastric pits and the mucus secreting um, glands, the pyloric glands. Here's the muscularis mucosa and obviously we've got submucosa here. So if we keep following along we can see that the structure of the pyloric glands begins to change. Um, they're quite tubular and um, increase in profile so there's lots of branching going on. The muscularis mucosa begins to be um, less complete so there's spaces in between. You can see a little lymphoid follicle here. So if we keep going towards the right, heading towards the small intestine, we can see that it becomes quite disrupted. And then here, we've got our first evidence of our glands existing within the submucosa. So there's the muscularis mucosa. And down here, we've got these mucus secreting glands within the submucosa. So these are going to be Brunner's glands. And they've actually just come a little bit early rather than sort of appearing first in the duodenum. They appear a little bit early in the pyloric region of the stomach. We can see we're still in the stomach. We've still got the gastric pits and the um, uh, pyloric glands here. So we'll keep moving. We've got all of these multiple profiles of these um, Brunner's glands. And we keep moving down, lots and lots of Brunner's glands now. Um, it's very difficult to see the muscularis mucosa. You can see these little patches out here. And we keep going, and now we've got this quite dramatic change in the mucosa. So we've gotten from this flat epithelium with the deep gastric pits to these projections. These are the villi. And we zoom in a little bit, we can begin to see here's the stomach epithelium. And these are all surface mucus cells. And then we begin to see these white little round spaces. These are the goblet cells. And goblet cells only exist within the intestines, within the alimentary tract, excluding the respiratory system, of course. So here's our villi, the simple columnar epithelium made up of enterocytes and um, goblet cells. And then we've got our lamina propria uh, in between. So these finger-like projections of the duodenum, we can see... Uh, Brunner's glands, and there's a nice evidence here of the Brunner's glands emptying into the base of these intestinal glands. Thanks for listening.